Well, welcome, welcome everybody, and thank you so very, very much for joining us today here on Learn from the Experts. We are really excited for today's special event. Lots of things happening, and we are so gl glad and grateful to have you here with us. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements before we turn it over to our host. My name is Craig A. Jackman. I'm your facilitator. I'll be your uh, person here in the background. Uh, coming up, uh, if you'd like to join our groups uh, with, uh, with Robert Hollis, we have a couple of groups that you can join us for where we go into more training, we go into more personal development, and these groups are called Imaginators and in Inner Circle. You can join us by going to roberthollis.com forward slash join. Those of you that are watching here in the uh, Zoom, I will post that link in the chat very soon. For those of you watching on YouTube, we are glad that you've joined us. Uh, all you need to do is look on the screen where you see my face, look down below, there's a join button, and go ahead and click on that, and that will take you to the process of joining Imaginators and Inner Circle. It's an amazing group. We go into personal development, and we go into much more depth, more than just ask me anything or anything else. So we are very glad to have you on board with us. Um, today, it will be Robert and our special guest as soon as he comes on board. We are waiting for him. And we appreciate uh, everything. That we appreciate the fact that you are here. So as we prepare to get started, let's go ahead and bring on our host for Learn From The Experts. Uh, this gentleman has been in uh, the networking industry for 37 years, and he is a mentor and a very dear friend of mine and just an amazing person to learn from. He speaks from the heart. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Robert Hollis. Hello, everyone. I'm glad to have you on here. I see a lot of people that are on here, and it's really, really cool. Uh, I just got a... Um... I just got a message from uh, Joel. Joel. <laughs> Joel Harris. Uh, he, he's uh, just he's getting to a place where he can jump on the on the Zoom. So we'll we'll be looking for him. Uh, but he's definitely on his way here. And so I just want to start out. Thank you very much, Craig, for the. Uh, uh, great introduction. I appreciate each and every one of you that are on here. And here is what ended up happening. You guys know I know nothing about trading. Nothing. Zero about trading. But don't you guys find it interesting that everything in life I knew nothing about before I learned it? Wow. What 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 a concept, right? It's like uh believe it or not, I actually learned how to read and walk and talk and run and and it's like all these things. And it's like, but when you're learning something new, it is weird how we get frustrated, we get overwhelmed, we get uh, confused. And because we actually have to use muscles that we don't use all the time. <laughs> because most of us don't even realize how much of a routine we're in. You know what I mean? So a lot of us don't realize that, man, if you're going to work every day, including your morning routine, and then getting into traffic, I'm sure you guys know of somebody or it happened to yourself, where sometimes you show up at work and you're just going, I don't even know how that happened. I was like in a sort of a zone, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, most life is existing. So one of the things I always wanted to do in my life and still haven't done it is learn a new language. You know what I mean? I have so many people in my life that are just amazing people that speak Spanish. And I have my Hungarians on here. Uh, so very, very nice to, to see you and my Romanians. And, and so what is really unique when you have people from different cultures, and I always thought, wow, I, I'd like to learn another language. But on top of that, don't you guys all realize that, you know, how impressed you are with someone that knows multiple languages? like you're at a restaurant or whatever. And and so I want you guys to know that um, I got involved in this. It's I, I'm blown away with how well it's working. 
And then all of a sudden I got introduced to Javid and, and Javid, these guys, I got, I met a lot of them as well. And, um, uh, Vegas. And when I met these guys, even with some of the videos they do they're they got so much, uh, uh, so much energy, they have so much confidence and confidence always com only comes from doing it over and over and over again. And also learning for experts. So Javid introduced me on a chat, a telegram chat with, um, uh, Joel, and, and I know a lot of people, Joel Ayers, and I know that he's been trading. I'll let him tell his story, but he would not. I repeat, if you guys know Josh Wago, Joel would not be a trader with the Koshiks if he didn't know what he was doing. And so I get the tap and trade thing uh, a little bit, but when I see people posting how, many, how much they won in a day, and they're like, thanks, Joel. Thanks, Joel. I mean, that gives me a little bit of fear of loss. <laughs> so we have Joel on here. I'm going to let him tell his story. Um, you guys very pay close attention to this. Of course, we're recording it for you guys to watch or didn't make it. But uh, without further ado, Joel Ayers, thank you very much for coming on here. I got my notepad, my pen ready, and I'm ready to learn. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Robert. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, afternoon, you know, wherever you may be. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time and I'm going to make it worth it. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Let's see where's everybody from. So please go ahead and type in the chat um, what state, what country. You know, I'm currently in Colombia. I usually live in the US. I say usually because I like to travel a lot. And so. <laughs> Right now we're in Colombia, maybe we'll be in London in September, you know, and so it, things can change. So let's see where's everybody um, from Hungary, Denver, um, Mokowi, Tucson, okay, Chicago, Texas, anybody from Utah by any chance? Let's see, because <laughs> that's where I live. Anybody from Utah, Idaho? Nope, I don't see that. That's okay. That's okay. Well, thank you so much, guys, for being here. Um, what I'm going to do is actually something that uh, I'm excited about because, you know, you guys as a team um, are my priority. You know, every team in, in MDC, in Akash, it's, it's, it's my priority. I want you guys to win. I want you guys to understand the trade ideas that I send. You know, I saw a comment right before I, I started introducing myself um, that says I send a lot of trades. That's true. And today you're going to learn why I send a lot of trades and how you should trade those trades. Okay. So, Please have a, a pen and, or pencil and a notebook or your phone, you know, wherever you take notes, make sure you you gain some information that I'm going to share. Now, before I do that, I want to introduce myself really quick. Joel Arias, I'm 24 years old, 25 this year. I've been trading for the past uh, seven and a half or eight years. Don't really have the, the, the exact count, but it's somewhere there, you know, seven and a half to eight years. Uh, I started very young in... I, I started because of a friend that invited me to an opportunity back in, you know, seven or eight years ago. You know, everybody starts like that. You know, you have a friend and that friend invites you and I don't know, somehow you get hooked. And for me, the hook was to learn how to trade. I saw really successful traders seven, eight years ago. And, and now I have one of those in my team. I have one of those mentors that I had from trading and he's in my team. He joined with us in Akashits. And and I just, you know, I saw their style, the, their lifestyle. I saw the things that they had. And it, it wasn't much about like the money or the cars. It was more about the time that they had to do whatever they wanted to do, right? Um, or whatever they wanted to do. And and that's where it really hooked me. Like I was I was young, so I didn't have a job. And yeah, you, when you're 15, you don't have a, a job in, in Colombia. Um or some people do, I guess, but I didn't, and I was living with my parents, and so I I had the time, per se, to to really get into trading. I, I dedicated myself one hour or two hours a day. I know it's, even though I had, like, 11 hours available in the day, I only, you know, spent one or two learning trading, and everything just started from there. I started inviting people over the opportunity because I wanted to share this with everybody, and I started teaching them how to trade based on what I learned. You know, I wasn't an educator, but I was teaching them and I was guiding them so that they can make profit. And of course they can sustain so they can pay their membership as well, right? 
because it was my responsibility as a leader. And that's what Robert is doing right now. You know, Robert, he's teaching you guys how to sustain this business, you know, how to make money with trading for real. And so uh, that's how I started. And then uh, long short story, you know, time passed and four or five years ago, I became an educator in, in some pretty well-known companies um, in the Spanish market, uh, such as IML or mine or other companies. And the, the journey just began, you know? And then I remember that two years ago, um, Maddie, he called me and he, he was like, hey, I think we have the right place. And he was telling me about something called My Daily Choice. I never heard of My Daily Choice before, even though it's a 10-year company. And he shared me the story. We met with Josh. Um, and man, if you know Josh, you know that he's a, he's a genius. He's, he's really smart and he really cares about people. And so he really cares about this company. And when we sat down, we wanted to create uh, something great for, for the trading community. And that's how Akashits came along. You know, and so it's a great opportunity to be here uh, with you guys. And honestly, like if you're in this call, it's because you have a special place in Akashic and in our hearts as educators and in our, you know, your leader's heart too. And so thank you so much, Robert, once again, for, for making this, this happen. And, and not only Robert, but all the other leaders that may be here as well. And so... All right, let's let's go ahead. I'm gonna share my screen and I want you guys to let me know if you can see it or not. Type a one in the chat really quick. If you we can do see, see it. it. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so if you have ever joined one of my sessions, if you know, you know that I like interaction, you know that I like for you to communicate with me. I'm gonna ask some questions in the chat because I want to make sure that you guys are here with me and that you guys are understanding. And if you don't understand, that's okay. You know, I'm not here to judge you. It's not my role. It's not, no, I'm here to help you. Okay, so please, if you don't understand something, just say, hey, Joel, I don't understand. That's okay. You know, we don't have to understand everything at once. And so um, what I'm going to do today is, how, is teach you how to understand my trade ideas. Okay, that's like the number one topic. Then we may move towards the, the smart cash scanner a little bit to give you guys a personal training on how to use that scanner. But first we're gonna do we're gonna do trade alerts. Okay. Um who here has ever counted how many trade alerts I send in a day? Just throw a number. Throw a number to see what we have. Okay. One, eight, six, five to eight, four to six, fifteen. Okay. All right. You guys may not be wrong, you know? You guys may not be wrong. Sometimes I don't even know how many trailers I sent, but here is here is the, the number per se. So I sent up to five trades per session. Now, you guys may have heard me say this before, but what does this mean? There is different sessions in the market. For example, in the morning, you know, um, maybe 7, 8 to 2 p.m., it's the New York session. You know, and so in the morning, when I call a New York trade, for example, look at this New York buy, right? NG means New York, or you're going to see New York session. When you see me calling trades with the label NY, it's because we're in the New York session time. And so, what does that mean? I'm going to call up to five trades in that session. Okay. Maybe the time goes on. We move and the market closes and then it opens again and we are maybe in the Asian session, right? And so I may, again, may call five trades in the Asian session. And then later on, it's the London session, right? Very late, very late at night, right? Uh, if we're talking about London time, it will be like 6, 7 a.m. UK time until 2 p.m. UK time, right? Which will be around... 12, 1, 2 a.m. here in the States, um, all the way to almost when the New York session opens, okay? And so I will call up to five trades per session. And so in a day, we can be looking at maybe 10, 15, maybe eight trades, you know? It really wow. depends if the market is setting up, okay? Now, we're looking at a lot of those trades, but then what do you have to do to take them, okay? Here is, um, let me open this. 
I'm gonna open a whiteboard here. And then I'm gonna teach you guys um, the way that I explain this. This is actually in one of my trainings in my session, but you guys are having it here um, VIP. But if you miss something, you can watch the recording, of course, that, that we're doing right now. And you can also go to my session replay and I'm gonna show you guys uh, later uh, how to understand those, okay? But first things first, we're talking about trade alerts. Whoops, what the heck? Okay, I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, pretend that that's a straight line, right? Just pretend. So the formula here is that we risk 0.1% of our account per trade, okay? This is not the lot size. This is the percentage that you're going to risk per, you know, per trade. Why? Because I call a lot of trades. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an example really quick. If you risk one percent of your account per trade, and let's say because you know not all trades are perfect, like we always try to keep a really high um, like pip count or result per se. But let's say that we just had a bad day or a bad week because those can happen. Um, if you take three to five trades, right, and you lose all of them, guess what? you're going to lose more, right? You're going to lose, you can lose 5%. And if you have a prop firm account, that's your daily max loss, right? And so the reason that I created this trading plan is so that you may not lose your account, but you can pass it and that you can make money. Why? Because if we trade with 0.1%, let's say we lose five trades in a row, which we haven't done, thank God, because of course he... He make everything possible, but we haven't lost five trades in a row. But if we do, let's just say we do, we're going to lose 0.5% of our account. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Would you rather lose 5% than 0.5? No, right? I don't I don't think anybody wants to lose 5%. That's in, in a 100K account, that's $5,000. You know, that hits more than $500, right? And so... With this trading plan, if you start applying it with my trade alerts, um, it's gonna take you, I don't know, It's I think I did the math, but it's gonna take you 30 consecutive days or 20 something consecutive days of me losing in order for you to burn your account. Wow. Okay. And so that's why this was designed this way. It was designed so that you guys may not lose your account, but instead you can have a steady growth. Because remember, fast growth, I don't know, for me, it doesn't look healthy. I'd rather have a consecutive growth until I reach my point, right? And so this was done this way. Now, the other reason that I call so many trades is because a lot of you guys are not in the States. A lot of you, a lot of you guys are not in America in general, right? In Colombia or South America, Central America, North America, right? Canada. You guys may not be in America, period. And so it's kind of selfish for me to only call trades in the morning and forget about the rest of the day, right? And so I, and I explained this before, I call so many trades not for you to take them off, but for the other people that are in different time zones to take advantage of those, okay? Remember, the max you should take, it's five in a day, five. That's the max, okay? Uh, if you are in the UK or, or in Africa, I think I saw some people from Africa here. If you're in Africa, then, you know, I'm going to call some trades for your time zone, right? No need to worry about the ones you missed because there's always more coming. So that's the explanation on why so many trades. And this is how you should take them with this percentage. Now, I'm going to explain how to do this. Okay, so let's do an example. And then after that example, I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions, okay? Um, but let's say um, let's say we're going to take this trade. So what we do, I'm going to open another Akashit's website over here. We're going to go and find the um, a tool called a lot size calculator. Who here has ever used that, that tool before? Let me know in the chat. If you ever come over here and click calculator and you notice and use this lot size calculator. 
Okay, I see. Yeah, I see a lot of people. Okay, perfect. If you did, this is a great review. If you didn't, this is the time for you to learn. Okay. Now, let's say we're going to take this trade. Okay. So what are some things that the calculator is asking us? It's asking us the instrument, which means the pair, the trading asset that we're going to trade. And so in this case, uh, I only call gold trade. So we only look XAU USD. We click the first one that says popular. Boom. What's the next thing that's asking us? Your account uh, deposited currency. So I think most people use US dollars as their deposit. I know some brokers may let you use euros or pounds up to you, you know, but usually dollars. And then open price. This is the famous EP. EP means entry price, aka open price, right? And so what you're going to do, copy. Oops. Hold on. This got crazy over here. <laughs> you're doing okay. awesome, Joel, man. I'm learning so much. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. So open price, and then we paste. Again, copy, paste. And then what's the next thing that's asking us? The stop loss price. And so we go back to the alert, and guess what? It's over here. We copy. We paste. And then the next thing, account balance. Uh, let's say you have a 50K account. One, two, three, right? From TradeX Mastery. You have a 50K account or whatever account you may have, you can put it there. And then the next important question is risk. Right here, guys, is where I need you to, to start implementing this, right? This number is not the same as one. I have some people in my team that message me before and it's like, oh, um, I, I put a one and I don't understand why I'm losing so much. It's because I think they are not understanding that there is a zero and then a point and then a one, right? And so make sure that you delete this and you put a zero and a point and a one, right? 0.1%, okay? Now you click calculate and guess what? This is not it. Some people may confuse this five with their lot size. If you put a five in gold, that's gonna be a lot of movement. That, that's just gonna be a lot. It, it can burn your account in maybe two candles. But just, wow. just be careful, okay? So instead of putting the five, you're going to click this question mark. You see that this pop as 100, you leave it as it is. Don't touch it and just click calculate again. And you see how this five became 0 0.05? Got so it. That, that's your real lot size, okay? So what is this trade telling you is that with this open price and with this stop loss, your risk is $50. That's what you're going to lose, right? If you lose this trade with the 50K account, you risk $50 and this is your lot size, okay? Now, Joel, I don't know, I that seems like so little. You know, $50, maybe I can risk 100, 200, right? Because I want to make more. But here's the thing that, um, I always tell people, um, but let me ask a question here. Who here has ever started a traditional business? Let me know in the chat what business you have. If you had a bakery, if you have a, a haircut place, who here has ever started a traditional business? Whatever it may be. So Peter said IT business, car detailing, drive through coffee, restaurant, coaching, grocery store. Okay, so we have a lot of entrepreneurs here. Now, let me ask you this question. And I ask, and I ask you for revenue or anything like that. So no worries. Don't pull up your, your sheets or anything like that. So how long did it take you to recover the money you invested in your traditional business? Because the average, it's two to five years. The average for traditional businesses is two to five years. And some people don't hasn't even recovered the money they invested with, right? Right. So, point. my dear entrepreneurs that are in this call, and if you're not, that's okay. This is for you too. If we are willing to wait two to five years to recover, you know, our investment in a traditional business, why are we hurrying with this 
Now, the average um, that I've seen, again, this is my group. I have a group of 300 people in Spanish, and we all have funded accounts. The average that I've seen of return of investment, it's two months. Two wow. to three months. You know, somebody invested $1,000 in a 200K account. They pass it in a month, right? And then, or maybe two months. And then guess what? Tradex gives you eight days to withdraw. So boom, you had your return investment in two months. And so, and they do this again, because this is my group. And I make sure that they're following uh, exactly the, the rules of the game. And so think about this when you want to over leverage in trading. If your business that you have, it, it has taken you two to three, five years to recover your money. Why are you in a hurry with trading? You know, guys, trading is the only one of the only industries. I say one because there's some one of the only industries that lets you make, I don't know, five grand in a week and withdraw. It. It's just one of the only ones that lets you do wow. that, you know, and so again, why the hurry? Okay. So now that we have this clear, guys, this trade will be a 0 0.05 lot size. Somebody asked a question uh, that I saw over there. It's like, okay, but what will we make in profit? That's a great question. Usually, guys, my trades um, are a ratio of one, two, or one, three. Okay. If they hit all the TPs. Okay. One, two, one, three. If you don't know what this is, is that you invested one, you got two in return. You invested one, you got three in return. Okay. That's what that means. You know, those ratios. And so if we do it, if we do a more realistic example, if you invested the $50, which you're risking, right? The 0.1%, then a one, two will be, you get a hundred in return. Does that make sense? Yep. So that, that's a, what a one and two mean. A one and three do the same thing, you know, instead of 100 will be 150. So you invested 100 as a risk in the stop loss and you made 150 if it hits all the TPs with one trade. Multiply that by five. If you take all the five, you made a little bit over than $500 in a day. Now multiply that in a week because again, I call a lot of freaking trades. So multiply that in a week. What's 500 times uh, five? That's amazing. Right? That's 25, right? 2,500. And so in a 50K account, you'll be halfway through your first um, challenge, which is 10%, right? Right. Or yeah, you'll be halfway. And so again, remember, the, the game here is the consistency. Yes, we may lose some trades, but guess what? you will only lose 50 bucks. That's easy peasy to recover. The thing change is when you put a different lot size and you realize you lost 2000. Losing 2000, it's gonna get your, your mindset, right? Losing $50, it's nothing. But losing 2000 may affect your mindset in trading. And you're going to think that this doesn't work. But let me tell you, it does work for anybody. Trading doesn't have, trading is not racist. Trading is not, uh, if you live in this country or you're Y or you're XYZ, you know, it doesn't matter. Trading doesn't have a, a, a point on that. It's for everybody that wants to be committed. Okay. So are we all clear on this part of how to take, you know, the traits Go ahead and type okay. a one in the chat if you are. Yeah, throw some fire or ones in there to let Joel know you guys are getting this. Hey, nice. now we're, we're going to answer some questions. Um, one of those I saw is from Coach Bob. He said how to take or, you know, how to take the TP one, two, three, four, five. That's a great question. Who else has that question? So I know if it's a it's a common ask question let's see i i didn't even know that that could be a question <laughs> yeah because if you guys notice over here like we have tp1 tp2 oh, there you got or 
And I think, you know, a lot of people um, confuse those TP. And so I'm going to, I'm going to explain that one first, and then we move on to another question. Okay. I taught you guys my trading plan, which is 0.1% for trade, five trades max. Okay. Now, what I'm going to tell you right now, it's, it's really going to change your, your game plan with trading. Okay. I have within the trading plan, I have this plan of action. Okay. You can call it whatever you want. It's the plan of action. And it has two options. Okay. One, if your account is positive, what does that mean? You have a 50K account. Let's say your account is at 5,100. You have $100 in profit. That's positive, right? Your account is over the initial balance, okay? Now, don't ask questions right now, guys. Pay attention to this part, okay? We'll do the questions after. And then this next part is if your account is negative or drowned down or under the initial balance that you had. Same example, if you, have, if you started with the 50K account and your account right now it's at 49,500, that's negative, right? You have a negative 500 balance or your account is under the initial that you started, okay? So with that being said, the TPs is gonna depend on which side of the room you are. And it doesn't matter which one you are, both are going to help you. So. Let's start if you have a, a positive account. Let's say, this is just an example. You took a trade with one lot size. Let's say you have a higher account and it, the calculator gave you one lot, okay? This is just an example, okay? If you started with one lot, okay? And if it hits TP1, you have one option. It's optional, okay? It's optional. I'm going to put an O because I'm going to take forever to write it down. Optional to close a C, partials a P, okay? Now, before I move on, who here knows what closing partials mean? Be honest. Oh, wait. CryptoSoul says that you can see my whiteboard. Can you guys see it? Yes, we can. Yeah, we can see it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Maybe just try to maybe lift the Zoom and come back. Maybe that will help. Okay, so I see people say yes. Robert says no. Uh, other people said no. Okay, that's okay. Closing partials means that you're closing half, because partials half, of the lot size that you initially started with. So if you started with one lot in the trade, if you close partials, that means that you're going to secure 50% of the profit you already made, and you're going to keep the other 50% risk running. Okay. That's cool. And there is an option in Trade Locker when you look at your positions and you click it, it says partials. If you ever wonder what that is, that's what it is. You click it and you tell the broker, hey, I want to close, close 0 0.5 and leave me with 0 0.5 open. Okay, so with that being said, this is optional at TP1, okay? TP2, it's not optional. You must close partials, okay? You must close partials. And at this point, you can move your stop loss to break even. Okay. So, and you, if you have a positive account, you may want to do this one. Not a TP1, but maybe a TP2. You close partials. You close half of what you initially risk with, and you move your stop loss to break even. What does that mean? If you move your stop loss, and let's say the trade comes back, it's going to take you out, but you already closed profit. Right? You didn't lose anything. You also didn't close with $0 because most people, here's the thing. Most people only move stop loss to break even without closing partials. And guess what? The trade goes up and goes down and you close with zero. And I've just seen this in so many people. They, they Their mentality just starts you know, attacking them like, oh man, I could have made 
two hundred dollars, and I I had to put my stop loss, and I close at zero, and then guess what? They open a new trade, and guess what? That trade goes down, and they lose. Right? And so again, this plan, this plan is designed so that you don't lose, but you win with every single trade. Because guess what? We always hit at least TP one, two, three, four, and there's been cases. I don't know. Every week we have at least five trades that hit TP5. Wow. And so every week we have at least five. All right. And so if you do this plan, you're going to see your account like change completely. Okay. So now TP2, let's say TP3 hit. Guess what? At this point, you choose whatever you want to do. Okay. But usually um, you can move your stop loss to TP1. What does this mean? That if you already close partials, you don't need to close them again. You close partials only once. Okay. Um, but at this point, if the trade goes back, then it won't close you at zero. It will close you with the profit you close in partials plus the profit accumulated between entry and TP1. Okay. So you're closing more profit without doing much. Okay. And then same thing with TP4. TP4, you move your stop loss to TP2. And TP5 hits, you don't do anything because the trade already closed, right? So this, this is if you have a positive account. I'm not going to ask who has a positive or negative account here. That's on you. <laughs> That's private. I don't want to know. But you, you you should know, okay? And and please Make sure you're following that the one that you know that one that corresponds to you. Now let's talk about the negatives. It's not a shame to have a negative account. It's not bad to have a negative account. It's okay. You know it happens to all of us. But what you Joel, do, change Joel, if I can say something quick, I had one kid that reached out to me and he did some bad trades. And he goes, you know how much this would bother me if it was my personal money instead of somebody else's money? Man, that that did a, a ninja hack for my mind because, of course, we were funded. Uh, but, you know, I'm scared to lose money. I'm pretty conservative, you know, but I'm in the negative right now. <laughs> and, and it's like so as soon as I went in the negative, it changed my mindset until that kid told me, hey, listen, you know, you're using other people's money to learn how to, to earn money. And I went, yeah, I, I got to learn this. So thank you for sharing so far. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robert, for that. And so again, if you're negative, like Robert said, it's part of the process you learn, especially if it's not your money, right? If you're in a profit and you know it's other people's money, you're not losing 50K, right? And so if your account is negative at the moment, then this is what you need to do. Okay. So same example, let's say the calculator gave you a one lot size. We hit TP1. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to, we must, okay, must close partials. And we must move stop loss to break even. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. Oops. There we go. I'm going to tell you why this is a must. Your account is negative. You cannot afford stop losses. We're looking for your account to grow, right? But you personally cannot afford, because your account is negative, um, to collect more stop loss, okay? So what is this going to do to you? You're going to close partials. You're already securing, I don't know, let's say 10 bucks. Let's say nine bucks, you know, whatever the, the amount may be, depending on your lot size, of course. You're collecting money. And if it goes back and it closes at break even, you didn't lose anything else. You already secure some money. And guess what? This is not going to be the only trade you take in a day because you're taking five trades with me. And so if your account is negative and you're closing partials and moving stop loss to break even, if you collect those five trades in a day, maybe the, the 25 in a week or more, right? Um, you're going to see that your account changed completely. Like you're securing more profit and your account is growing back at the initial balance you started with. 
once it's at that point, man, you can start switching to the other plan. Okay. But again, at negative, the whole purpose is that you don't lose your account, right? So you cannot afford losing your either real account or prop firm account. Okay. Uh, what is break even? Break even means that, you know, it, it goes back to the entry point. So stop loss, let's say, is 2550. And then your entry point is 2560. You move your stop loss to the entry point. And so if it comes back, it closes at zero loss. But in this example, we close partials, which means we secure profit. And then it goes back to the entry if it does. If it doesn't, good for you. You can start doing this. So TP2, you know, because not all trades go back to, to break even. Not all of them, okay? So if it hits TP2, what are you going to do? You must move stop loss to TP1. Right? Because in this case, if it comes back, you're already securing. You already had the partial. Again, you don't need to close more partials. You have the partial that corresponds to you. But if it goes back to TP1, you're going to close with more profit. Okay. And same thing with the other TPs, TP3, same thing as the other plan. What's the only difference between these two plans? The first step, the first TP, that's the only difference. Why? Because if your account is negative, you want to recover money, not by over leveraging, but by trading smart. And so this is the plan if you're taking my trades. Now, if you're taking somebody else's uh trades that's okay i won't get offended you know it's fine there are other great educators that we have in akasha but you gotta understand something every single one of us may have a different trading plan okay and so this is if you're taking my trade alerts why because i call so many trades in a day that's the whole reason we implement this as it is okay so questions i'm gonna answer two or three more questions on this and then we're going to move on. Um, do you have a video how to set up? Okay. I forgot to I forgot to say something about this. So thank you. Um, who was it? Bob for reminding me of this. So when you put a trade, you know that you have to put your entry, right? Your stop loss price. And then sometimes people get confused with this and, and that's okay. You don't need to put one trade per TP because guess what? If you open one trade per five, that's five trades you're taking at the same time, at the same entry, and that's not bueno. Okay. What you should do is just when you're putting a TP, you put the last TP call. Okay. So you put the stop loss and you put the last TP. All right. Because if you do this, then you're going to be able to, you know, manage this, this plan that I just show you. Okay. Does that make sense, Bob? I think you say, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Perfect. So this means we must open different positions for the numbers of TP we want in the trade. No, that that's not, that's not quite correct. You only open one position, only one trade, one, one position. You put the stop loss I gave you, and then you put the last TP. I gave you. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is different from tap to trade. You you have to put the trade manually. We are though, I'm gonna give you a little gossip here. We are uh going to update tap to trade pretty soon so I can call my trades there. Wow. The, the reason that I don't call tap to trades uh, now, it's because I have a higher stop loss, which is 100 pips. If you know this this term, great. If not, it just means I have a, a wider uh, range of stop loss. And with the current algorithm that tap to trade has, it risks more than it should with 100 pips. Okay. But they're updating it so that you pick the percentage risk that you want to you want to trade with and so now we're going to be able to do the 0 0.1 percent with 100 pips okay so that's something coming up uh let's see
I love that we're recording this, Joel. So, you know, people can go back. Yeah. I, I'm going to watch this over and over and over again. It's like a lot of info. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see, guys. I don't see any. Uh... Okay. Coach, uh, Coach Josh asked this question. I think it's really great. Does that mean that we will have to sit at the screen and watch out for the TPs? No, because that's my job. I'm the one in the seat, you know, watching or in my phone, I guess. I, I set alerts so I can let you know, guys, how through our Telegram. Uh, if you're not in the Akash uh, channel, then you must be in that channel. If not, then your phone, you're going to get a notification saying update Joel Arias trade idea or something like that. Okay. If you see that, then you go and check it out. And I'm going to tell you in the notes, hey, guys, TP1 hit. You know, if I say TP1 hit, you already know what you got to do, depending on which side of the screen you are, positive or negative. Okay. TP2 hit, same thing. I'm going to notify you guys. Okay. Uh, let's see. Why do you set your stop loss with 100 pips? Great question, Peter. Because uh, with goal, um, goal moves a lot in a day, a lot. It moves between 100 and 200 pips in a day, you know, consistently, up and down, doesn't matter. And so for me, the reason that I call 100 pips is so that I have a, a wider range of possibility. Because remember, with trading, you can't really tell this the strategy is 100% accurate. It, it's just not. It's just not possible, okay? And so it's always based on the analysis and the possibility, okay? You know, I'm not going to lie. There has to be some chances, you know, for the trade. And so the, the calculated chances that I analyzed in, in my last seven years of trading is if I do a 100 pip stop loss, I have a higher chance of seeing greater results than if I do shorter uh, pips of stop loss, okay? Now that's on me. Again, every educator has different ways, has different views on the market, but that's for me, right? So that's, that's the reason why we have higher stop loss. Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm going to say this one more time. Um, you should only open one position and put the last TP, TP5, as the TP that trade locker asks you or meta trader, depending on what you're using. Okay. Because when you open a position, it's telling you what stop loss you want, what take profit you want. And that's where you're going to put TP5. Okay. You should not open five positions. You open one. Okay. Because if you open five positions, that means you're risking your 0 0.5 in a day based on this trading plan, right? All right. So we're going to close this subject. Um, again, this meeting is being recorded. So that, that's a great, great thing that Robert is doing. So you're going to be able to watch this. If you need more, then, you know, we also have the, the sessions. Now, to end this, the second part, really quick, guys, in 10 minutes or less, I'm going to show you, and I want you guys to take notes. If you want to follow my strategy, if you want to follow, you know, my trades, I'm going to recommend you some must videos that you need to watch on my channel. Okay. Because again, this is already explained in my channel. It's already there, but you may not know how to look for those videos. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you the videos that you must watch. Okay. So Again, pen, paper, pencil, paper, whatever you use, your phone or video or something, this call is going to be recorded either way, so you're going to have it, but this is how and where you should look for these videos, okay? So type a one in the chat if you're ready, if you want me to to tell you this these videos. Let's see, let's see. Okay, perfect, guys. So first things first, you're going to go over here in the menu where it says session replay okay session replay you're gonna go ahead and click this face over here that says joe arias 
And then after that, you're gonna scroll down. These are sessions that we had live that I, you know, that are recorded and we upload them after we finish our sessions. Okay. In these sessions, I teach my strategy, I teach my trading plan, I teach all that you need to know to trade with me. All right. So there are 10 pages. Wow. So let's go ahead and check uh, these. And I'm going to tell you which ones you must watch. You can watch the other ones. That's okay. But I'm going to tell you the must list. Okay. So let's go to page nine. So everybody write down page nine. You you need to write down the page and the, the name. And the reason for this is because pages may change as we add more videos in. Okay. But for now, it's on page nine. And the name is this, how to calculate lot size and pip value in gold. Okay, it's right here. I'm gonna give you guys a couple minutes. Well, a couple seconds, because <laughs> my and you that. and you also have these trainings in Spanish? Yes, I have them in English and Spanish. So right next to this, look, it's the Spanish one right here. So if you speak Spanish, this is your site. If you speak English, then you know this is this is your video right here. Okay, so that's the number one video you should watch. Why? Because I explain how to use the calculator. Maybe you know today it wasn't clear because I did it too quick. You know how to calculate your lot size. Hey, get some time, 20, 30 minutes, spend it on this video because I teach how to use that calculator. Okay, you don't know what a pip is, you don't know what a hundred pip is watch this video because that's where you're going to learn it. Okay. So everybody ready? Ready for the next one? Let's go ahead and check the next page. So sometimes you're going to see uh, some other titles like this, candle patterns. These are not must watch videos. These are just part of the strategy that if you want to learn it, yeah, you may, you may watch these videos. Okay. Now, this page eight doesn't have any of the must. So let's go to page seven. Okay, we have another one. Boom, trading plan in gold. Again, this is the same thing I explained to you guys, but if it wasn't clear, you can go over here and spend some time watching this video, okay? Trading plan in gold, page seven. Okay. Now let's keep moving. Page six. If you are at that point, this is optional video. This is not a must. But if you're at that point that you're looking for your own trades, but you don't know how to find a stop loss in TP, this is how you can learn how to find your own stop losses and TPs. Okay. So that's an optional. It's not a must. Uh, nothing on page six. Let's go to page five. Nothing there. Page four. Two, two, two. Nothing there. Okay. This right here. The reversal reversion strategy video. This video I recorded before we launched the the scanners, um, and this is the strategy behind my scanner, which is called a smart cash. You guys have seen it. So if you wanna learn about the strategy behind the scanner, this is a must video that you need to watch. This strategy, it's different than the 100 pip, okay? This one is different than the trade alerts. This one is for uh, trades that have 40 pip stop loss. So a little bit shorter, a little bit quicker, but it works in a different way, okay? So if you want, again, Page three, reversion strategy, okay? If you're going to learn about the scanner. Now, if we move to page two, you're gonna notice that I have a trading plan for that strategy. If you wanna start using the scanner, smart cash scanner, you can follow this trading plan. It's gonna be different than, than the trade alerts, okay? Because we're moving different amount of pips, but this right here, it's going to help you understand the scanner and understand the risk and the reward, okay? Page two. 
Um, let's see. Page one. I think I have two more here, and then we're we're done with this. So, or three. There's three videos here I want you guys to, to watch. Number one, um, choo -choo -choo, this one right here on page one. It's called hybrid session, which means Spanish and English. I do 30 minutes in Spanish and 30 minutes in English. And this is the explanation I give you of what to do with positive and negative accounts. And remember, TP1, we close partials, TP2, blah, blah, blah. This is in this session. Okay, so if something wasn't clear, you can watch this recording or you, you can watch this session or both. Okay. And then you can watch this Spark scanner. If you don't know how to use the scanner, I'm going to teach you how to use the scanner. Okay. And last but not least, this video, it's a recap of what I just showed you. You know, all the videos that are a must to watch that I just mentioned here, if you miss one, you can watch this recording or you can watch this session on how to follow my strategy, okay? If you're brand new or if one of your guys' um, you know, teammates, uh, somebody in your team, it's brand new and you want them to start following the trades, you can send them to this video that says how to follow my strategy. Page one, this is in page one, okay? And that's it, guys. There are like, what, six, seven videos maybe that I mentioned must. And, and if you do this, you're going to, you know, have success with the strategy. And again, you may not like my style. That's completely okay. You can go and look on other educators. You know, that's, that's completely okay. But if you do, then please follow this trading plan because uh, I can't even tell you the amount of lives that we have changed because people started to listen, especially with profits, guys. I have people all over Latin America and $1,000 every eight days or every 21 days, you know, whatever it may be, $1,000 every month. Let's say it's average per month. Extra in Latin America changes a lot. In US, it, it does too. You know, there's no difference. It does too. Let's say you make a little bit more, it's still pretty good. And so I have a lot of people, you know, having great success because they they learn that trading, you can make your money back within two or three months. And it's not as the same as a traditional business that's gonna take years. And so please do not hurry the process. Every process has its sweet time, but I I can almost guarantee because there's nothing that's 100% guaranteed. I can almost guarantee that it's not going to take you five years to make your 149 per month subscription back. It's it's probably going to take you, you know, one or two months, you know, and that's awesome. all. So thank you so much, Robert, for, <clears throat> for inviting me here. I'm going to pass it over to you. You're back. For a minute. Yeah. Well, first of all, Joel, thank you so much. Uh, the one thing I want to call myself out on that's pretty embarrassing, but I think you'll understand is you can, you know, in the 37 years I've been doing this industry, you cannot, you, you would not believe, but you would because you're a teacher and a coach is how many people say, let me ask you this question. And I go, is it the question that I covered on this video on my YouTube? <laughs> 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 and so uh, I want to thank uh, Javed and your time for coming on here and teach us, teaching us the stuff that you already taught on the videos in the back of Akashic. <laughs> I completely understand that, you know. And yeah, that's so people, thing, you know? yeah, people reach out to me all the time and go, hey, I want to know how this works. And I go, so you're just not going to watch the video. And you're not going to watch the video distracted. No, you need to watch the video, shut your phone off, shut all your windows on your computer, pay attention and take notes. So that that's very, very cool. So Joel, I learned a lot. A lot of it was foreign to me, but I know that I learned how to do this business. I can learn to do another. And just like uh, Coach Bob said, I want to congratulate you if you guys are in your MDC back office and you see Joel number six uh, on the leaderboard. Uh, that, number that's six. 
That's that's see, he's not even looking. You know what I mean? Oh, I thought it was four. <laughs> oh, so well, there's ever there's a lot of people that are closing out for the month, man. Dang. So we we go to sleep a little bit, and it's like, wow, I was number eight for a while, and now I think I'm number thirteen because I'm not paying attention. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're right. Yep, it's number six. And one last question. I know this is a personal question, um, but. Um, you know what? Do you, what? What did you make your best year just in trading? Mm, the best year. It could be uh, half a mil. A half a million. Now, I want everyone to know while I'm he's saying that is the income disclosure here in America and some countries uh, that is not average. That 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 is very unique. He put all these hours in and uh but to also make money in trading and also make money by building an organization joel <laughs> and you're 24 years old that's the only thing that i'm not, i don't like about you is how young you are <laughs> so this will be something and in closing i would like you just to say something uh to your to your latinos say something in spanish that let them know that this is for them and they can do it. All right. Bueno, chicos, eh, si ustedes son latinos, aquí hablan español y me entienden. Eh, vean, el, el negocio del trading pienso que cambia más vidas latinas que cambia vidas de otros países. O sea, la, la vida latina se conoce porque no nos pagan bien, porque nos tratan mal en los negocios, porque tal vez nos discriminan, o etcétera. Como les dije al inicio, el trading no tiene discriminación. El trading es posible para todos los que quieren hacerlo. Y si yo no hubiera hecho esto, ojo, yo lo inicié en Colombia. Si yo no hubiera hecho esto, ahorita no estaría donde estaría y no estaría viajando a los lugares donde esté. Entonces, no se rindan y háganle porque sí se puede. Gracias. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Joel. Have a great, great, great day. And thank you for all you've done. I know that you could be anywhere. And for you to spend time with me and my team, I'll make sure to get this out to everyone. And uh, I, 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 I think it would be funny to edit the video of you just telling people where you can find your videos in Akash. <laughs> but thank you for doing that for us. Uh, you really, truly, you really, really inspire me. Um, 62 years old. I love learning a new skill that I can teach other people to do. And I love and appreciate you. And thank you for believing in Akashics and, and MDC. I really appreciate you. Well, you're welcome, Robert. If you ever need anything again, you know, I'm always a, a message away, a call away, and I'll do anything for your team. You know, if we need to do um one-on-one -on -one events or like in-person events you know anything that may be guys I'm, I'm here for all of you okay you're awesome thank you very much have a great day give thank him you. some fire you guys put some fire in there uh so yeah we're we're already after an hour so what i'm gonna do is let craig go ahead and close it up and 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 we're done craig do us the honors Wow, thank you so very, very much. And we appreciate the fact that every one of you have joined us for this amazing event. Uh, the replay is, right now it's in YouTube. We may edit it a little bit so you can watch the live version. We'll have a, an updated version as well. And please take the time to watch this once again. You had a lot of questions in the chats. It's a matter of re-watching it and learning. We all are taking that time to learn. And if we learn in the right way, as Robert and Joel has shared, we got this. No One doubt. step at a time. So uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, please hit the like button. We appreciate that. Please follow us uh, by subscribing to our channel. And if you'd like to join us as part of the Hollis groups of Imaginators or... Um, uh, inner circle, go ahead and go to roberthollis.com forward slash join, and you can become part of our amazing groups 
and we really appreciate the fact that you are with us. And just a reminder before we close that there is a risk involved in trading. Investing in stocks involves risks, including the potential loss of principal. Past performance is not indicative of future results. It is important to conduct your own research and consider your financial situation and risk tolerance before making any investment decisions. Consult with a financial advisor if needed. This information is for educational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. So thank you once again. Until next time, please be good to yourselves. Be cash. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Joel. I love and appreciate you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.